Five o'clock and a fire escape symphony spilling out across the road and the square. This chocolate and chestnut cake is truly irresistible. So here we have some ground flaxseed. We add the baking powder and we're going to pour in the water. This is going to make the basis for our flax mixture, which essentially is replacing any egg in this particular cake. Let's take our dairy-free margarine and place it with our sweetened chestnut puree into a mixing bowl. Creme de Maron, or sweetened chestnut puree, has a wonderful flavour. Adds a real depth and creaminess to whatever you're making, so it's perfect to go along with deep dark chocolate. Then we're going to tip in our flax mixture, stir that in until incorporated. We then sift in the flour, cocoa powder, and a little extra baking powder. Once you've sifted in the flour and the cocoa powder, use a metal spoon to fold it into the mixture and pour in a little bit of rice milk and get that wonderful cocoa-rich scent. Once mixed, transfer your cake mixture into a prepared tin and smooth over the top with the back of a spoon so that you have a nice level finish. And once that's level, pop it into the oven. Now that our chocolate and chestnut cake is out of the oven, we transfer it to a wire rack and let it cool. And in the meantime, we're going to make the thick ganache topping, which is made out of sweetened chestnut puree and dark chocolate. So place it in a bowl over about an inch of simmering water and then let it melt gently. Take it off the heat, spoon in your creme de marron, sweetened chestnut puree. The chocolate sauce will thicken up with the chestnut puree and also once it's cooled will make a lovely rich thick frosting. Spoon the ganache topping. It's really sumptuous and a really indulgent afternoon treat or better yet a really lovely pudding. Serve it with a little coffee and you've got a lovely evening treat. Sapphire, sapphire.